everybody. Happy Information Wednesday. Shalise McQueen here at the Shalise McQueen Agency out of Scottsdale, Arizona of Farmers Insurance. We're going to end today on our third and final saga of the umbrella policy. I wanted to really ride home and reiterate the fact of how imperative to an umbrella policy is. And in fact, I'm going to give you 11 real life reasons that we uh, you know, experience on a daily basis of why we need an umbrella policy. And really the reality is why we cannot afford to spend $33 a month to have a million dollars of coverage. Again, that $33 a month is less than our Starbucks addiction. So without further ado, here are your 11 reasons on why you cannot afford not to have an umbrella policy. So the number one on our list is a teenage driver. We talked about earlier in our series how teenage drivers under the age of 25 are more likely, or 35% more likely to have an accident during that course of time. You are financially responsible for that child. Think about all the distractions they have in the car with, you know, they have a friend in the car with their cell phones, texting, you name it. And think about they're in an accident. Not only are you responsible for them, for you, for their child, but also the person that they hit. And guess what? They're a passenger in the car as well. I'm not a mom, but I can imagine that if my kid was involved in an accident because another kid was not paying attention, my claws would come out. And um, so with that said, you can imagine how quickly your liability limit for medical is going for bodily injury is gonna be absorbed so quickly. So the bare minimum, you have a young driver, you cannot afford not to have an umbrella policy. Again, $33 a month for a million dollar of protection. Next on our list, we have your mouthy. You know, you, you tend to be combative and you know, people are a little more sensitive these days. And so say that you get into a, a verbal argument and you get a lawsuit against slander. It is so important that you have the personal injury endorsement on your homeowner's policy, which costs basically nothing a year. And in theory, if you're named in a, a slander lawsuit, defamation, your umbrella policy has your back up to that million dollar coverage. Number three on our list is entertainment. Obviously, pre-COVID, we probably indulge in more entertaining and having parties and social gatherings. Well, believe it or not, once your guest leaves your, your party and say they're maybe a little intoxicated, they get in an accident, whatever, they hurt themselves, trip and fall, whatever may happen, that unfortunately falls back on you. And so you can be named in a lawsuit because you're the one that's serving them the alcohol or whatever may have come about during that party. So bear in mind that your umbrella definitely extends to the liability of your guests that was at your property. Number four, we're in Arizona. 83% um, of our houses here have pools. I mean, no brainer, it's only 135 outside. A pool is one of the biggest liabilities that we have on in our household and on our premise. Uh, even if it's fenced and you have a padlock on the gate that does not stop a trespasser from coming in your backyard and drowning or having some kind of, some kind of event, unfortunately, that does not stop that person from suing you. And uh, so it's definitely important if you have a swimming pool that you, of course, have an umbrella policy. This next one will probably shock you. Number five is a trampoline. If you have a trampoline on your property, you definitely need liability, or sorry, an umbrella policy to extend your liability. So there was a lawsuit that happened in or 2016. A, the aunt had accompanied her nephew on the trampoline. He had jumped a certain way and she lost her balance. Make a long story short, her foot I guess got caught some weird place and she broke some bones in her foot. Uh, and what happened was she was granted $220,000 for past pain and suffering, another $580,000 for future pain and suffering. So this is almost a million dollar settlement. This is, what is it, $800,000 $800, settlement for a broken foot because of a trampoline. Unfortunately, even though it's your family member, it does not stop them from suing you and does not stop them from having a claim on your, on your assets. Number six is if you're on a nonprofit charity board, which this I am, I serve on Dress for Success, which is a women's nonprofit board here in Arizona, or Phoenix, Arizona. So as a nonprofit, they do have their own, what's called directors and officers insurance. But with that said, think about it. Usually these limits are rather low. So say you have a million dollar policy, there's 15 board members. You can see how quickly that million dollars gets diminished and used up. So it's important that you have your own umbrella policy that can take effect in the event that you're personally named in a lawsuit, whether it's you for your own actions or through your charitable contribution by being on a board. Number seven, this is super common as well, all you dads and moms out there that uh, coach your, your kids' sports teams definitely need to have a liability or an umbrella policy to extend your liability. 
you're dealing with all these different kids, a lot of things can happen. I also want to hop on and talk about carpooling. A lot of moms and dads, you know, help other parents out and carpool their kids. Again, if you're in an auto accident or something happens, you better believe those parents are going to be coming after you looking for answers and money. So umbrella policy is for sure a must when it comes to any kind of um, participation with children. But number eight on our list is you have a long commute. So I kind of disagree with this one because the reality is the stats for an auto accident most occur within a mile of your home. So whether you go to the grocery store or you're going on a road trip, you still have the same risk as far as getting into an auto accident. In previous conversations, I went over all of the statistics as far as average settlements, number of deaths, injuries, and judgments involved when it comes to auto. So whether you have a change driver or not, you still are driving a car on a daily basis. You need to have an umbrella policy to extend all of your liability limits. Number nine on our list is you have a dog. Even if you have a sweet little fluffy dog, does not stop them from having a bad day and unfortunately biting somebody. Believe it or not, over $700 million has been dedicated to claims in the past for a dog bite. In fact, all, a third of all homeowners claims come from dog bites. Number 10 on our list is you have an investment property. Whether you have a property manager or not, the reality is most of us do not have the skill set unless we were a real estate agent to know the landlord tenant law. The biggest risk that we have being an investment owner and a, and a landlord is what's called the nuisance risk. You know, say we bother our tenant too much or there's an incident it does not stop our tenant from wanting to sue us for whatever reason. So it's very important that our investment properties are listed as a schedule underneath our umbrella policy. And that will further extend those liability limits up to a million dollars or whatever limit your umbrella policy may be. My background is in real estate. I've been a real estate broker for 14 years and my bread and butter is property management or as I call it, portfolio management. And let me tell you, I have seen a lot of things over the years from being, you know, from a personal experience as an agent and also by serving on the grievance committee for Arizona Association of Realtors, I have seen a lot of things and people get irritated very easy. And so those claims and those lawsuits are very common. So like I said before, make sure you have your investment properties scheduled under your umbrella policy. Last but not least, number 11 on our list is hired help. So think about it. You have pool guys, landscapers, a maid come over. All of those vendors have a right to potentially sue you, whether they feel like maybe they were violated in some way or disrespected, they slip and fall, they hurt themselves on your property, your dog bites them, whatever scenario may come about, your umbrella policy will again extend and help you against future claims from people that you hire, which we all do on a daily basis. Just to reiterate, I gave you 11 reasons for sure why you need an umbrella policy, but the reality is just walking outside on a daily basis, hopping into our cars, conducting business, having personal relationships, all of these items and or all of these are opportunities, unfortunately, that we expose ourselves to risk. And so for $33 a month to have a million dollar umbrella policy, there it is a no brainer. So bear that in mind as you make your life choices on a daily basis. And if you have any questions about how if you have any questions on how the umbrella policy will serve you and how, how to structure it, let me know. We have all have worked very hard for our version of the American dream. So let's make sure that we have protection in place for ourselves and our family, our assets. And the umbrella policy is the cheapest and best tool to do that. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate all your support. If I ever can be any of service to you in any way, please let me know. My phone number is 480-478-0030. Or you can email me at cmcqueen at farmersagent.com. Until next week, be well, and from my family to yours, wish you continued health.